Well, hey there, I'm Craig Beals from Beals Science. I'm gonna show you how to make this little mini ping pong ball cannon out of some things you can pick up at the hardware store. Now, this thing is an attention getter. For just a little guy, it's easy to pack around. I'd love to take it to elementary schools, and I always keep this up front up at my desk, so if I need to catch somebody's attention, I can really grab their attention with a little bang. This is the ping pong ball mini cannon. Yeah. Here's what we need for this project. We need a battery filler. You can get that at the hardware store. A lantern lighter, some heat. This is the methanol that we're gonna use. And of course, ping pong balls. Now, I like to have a little 30 milliliter dropper to put the methanol in as my delivery device. Let's start right here. So this is my battery filler. We're gonna take it apart and we don't need the nozzle. We just need that nice rubbery bulb. We're gonna take our lantern lighter out and we're gonna dismantle it because we gotta get it up inside of our battery filler bulb. So we're gonna take this apart. Now, that right there, that little thing, that's an extra flint. Don't lose that, you're probably gonna need it down the road. So let's get this thing taken apart. That part we can get rid of, that's how you attach it to the actual lantern, but we're not using it for a lantern. Now, I'm gonna take an awl and punch a little hole. Be careful not to punch a hole through your finger but that's gonna get us started. It needs to be a little bit bigger, so I'm just gonna use a big old screwdriver and make it large enough that I'll be able to fit it in here. Now, this is the flint that actually rubs on the steel. I've gotta take the spring out and the assembly out because it's all gonna fall apart inside my little mini cannon if I don't do it now. Don't lose any of these pieces. There you can see the steel part. That's the steel that rubs on the flint. I'm gonna put the collet back on there we go. That's the steel part. You don't want to lose that. And it's going to try to fall out the whole time. And we're going to put the washer in there. That's going to help provide a seal on the inside of the bulb here. We're going to push it through, making sure the steel doesn't fall out. And then put that nut that was on there before. Tighten it down good and tight, but be sure not to rip through the rubber. And then here we go. We gotta put everything back together. So I'm gonna put the extra flint back inside the handle. I'm gonna screw that handle back on there nice and tight. We don't wanna lose that. And then, look at this little tiny piece. That's the little flint that goes in. And next, we've got the little stopper that goes on the end of the spring. You gotta have that in there so it pushes the flint down. And then we just gotta screw the end piece back on the spring that's holding the flint nice and tight and we're gonna get a spark. Check this out. Bam! Looks good, right? So I've got the methanol in a dropper bottle and I think that's the best way to deliver it. I'm gonna put about 10 drops in here and as I'm giving this presentation, I like to start to count and talk and say, you don't wanna put too much in there and then I lose count, one, two, three, and then I tell the kids, have I reached 10 drops yet? And they start to freak out and say, oh, I lost count, we don't wanna put too much in there. The point is this, there's really only so much volume inside this and only so much of it is gonna vaporize so the boom can only get so big. But it's all part of the show and it helps wake them up. Now you gotta remember to give this a little bit of time because what it has to do, it has to turn from liquid methanol into gaseous methanol. Some of it has to evaporate and mix with the oxygen around it. All it takes is a little crank, ready? Sometimes it isn't much of a bang. One way to make sure you get a good pop is to make sure your methanol is at room temperature and that it's had enough time to vaporize. Give it some time. And then you'll get some good booms like these ones. hot. <laughs> You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. Three, two, one. Coming at you. Perfect. Make one today. You won't be disappointed. Last one, here we go. Ready? Sometimes it doesn't work the way you want it to. Sorry about that. Well, there we go. 
There's our ping pong mini hand cannon. Pretty awesome, right? You should probably make one of these. You should probably have one sitting around. You know, you need to get your attention of somebody. Uh, you need to shoot something at somebody across the room. Who knows? It's not for kids, but if you're an adult, you should probably get yourself one of these. We've got the list of supplies down there in the description or come over to blscience.com, hit subscribe right over there somewhere and check out all the videos. But I appreciate you watching. Keep on learning.